welcome to Tune In Tuesday at 2. So glad. So what I want to do is give you a part two to last week's demo, which was on using Citrus Solve and National Magazines, National Geographic Magazines. And since then, several people actually uh, sent me pictures of additional ways to do it. And I wanted to share them with you because they really have changed the way I want to do this now. Like I only want to do it this new way. So it's not the standard thing. So it's adding another element to it that actually a couple elements that make it really very cool. So I'm going to take you off the stand off my little uh, easel here. Hello, Melissa, and Jane, um, Linda, and I'm going to turn the camera around. Here's my little demo area. <clears throat> so I'm going to put on my hand. And so last week um, I made with you these, I call them kind of standard uh, citrus solve, uh, you know, with this product in National Geographic. So, you know, it produces this very cool effect. And I made two, mag two or three magazines worth. Um, I love these. Um, these were actually glazed. So I show you, showed you how to glaze to make them part of your color palette because these weren't quite the right color I wanted them. This actually came out perfect for my color palette. So what I want to do is go beyond that and show you um, a w another way to make this even cooler. So I have a National Geographic. I'm going to pour some citrus salt. By the way, this is the end of my supply. I've actually been researching alternatives to citrus solve and if I find one I'm gonna let you know but it turns out a lot of people in Europe Australia have a hard time getting it because it's so expensive it, it's so expensive to ship is the problem so I want to show you a couple other p possibilities of how to do this so I've already pre-opened it up to a page that I think is gonna work and um, I've heard from a lot of different people that they have a preference either for a paintbrush or for a spray bottle I've tried both and to be honest, the paintbrush works better for me. It may be just because in order to get the kind of results I want, I want the pages pretty saturated. So using a paintbrush just works better for me. So this is the standard method, right? So what I experimented with is actually adding either fluid, fluid what's this called? Super, what's this thing called? It's super fluids. I can't see that it's... Uh, God, what is this stuff called? It's uh, super fluids. I can't now. You know what I'm talking about. It's it's fluid and liquid. <laughs> fluid liquid. I can't talk now. Anyways, so um, it's very fluid. So it actually adding some different paints to it before I cl keep doing that before I close it. So I add a little bit of um, extra stuff, and I'm gonna spread that a tiny bit around. And then close it. So we will come back to this. Another methodology that I think is super cool, you do the standard, you know, swipe it with uh, the citrus solve as such. And then you put a stencil in the page. And I might even just like douse the, this a little bit. And then you close this up. Now, if I were really doing this like full blown, I would go through every single page. But I'm going to let this bake. Meanwhile... I have already prepared one um, in, sh in pure Julia Roberts, Julia Roberts, Julia <laughs> child style. Must be because I'm on my day gig this week. I can't talk. Anyways, I've already done this to a, few, to a number of pages in this one. And I wanted to show you some of the results of doing that. By the way, I don't know how this is going to look. I just did it like 20 minutes ago. But I'm, I am hopeful. So let me see. So I pre-selected pages that I thought would have a better, a better effect. Okay, not yet. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, they want to stick together. There you go. Now, I actually added paint to this one, which I think has a really interesting effect. It just, instead of all the dots, you also have kind of like streaks. This is actually some paint on there. So that was interesting. Um, let's look at some other ones. Woo! Wow. So I'm not sure if I like that or not. <laughs> It was an experiment. Um, what I probably would want to do is do my usual, let's get some water on this to water it down and then let it bake some more and see what it looks like. Let, let's all that paint go together. 
this one looks better. So this one also has quite a bit of um, added paint to it. I put some blues and some gold sprays. I think that's interesting. Let's see what else we got here. Nah. Well, so far, I'm not liking... But you know what? It is a crapshoot. That one's better. So that has an interesting kind of abstract to it. But let me show you some... i got to get to the... Oh, here it is. Okay. So I actually uh, put a stencil in here. Let me pull the stencil up. So you can see that this has a really interesting stencil imprint, which I do like. Um, so that um, is pretty interesting. So I pull more pages apart. Oh, this is very cool. So this has some paint on it as well um, that I would probably add another layer to, but I really like this one a lot. I think that's really pretty. My cover just came off. Like that really matters. And this is really interesting too. So this also has some paint on it. So it's just got some, I probably want to add another layer or two of paint and close it back up. So that's one option is to add paint in with the, um, the pieces that are, uh, that are baking, you know, just plain. Oh, I like this black and white too, but we're not going there. So let me show you another thing you can do, um, which is how I got these. So these were actually pages that were kind of mediocre in results. It's the standard doing this. So I took a page that looked like that, and I turned them into pages that I'm actually completely in love with. I love all of these. And I love this black and white as much as anything because I'm always looking for whites. Um, and this actually is just plain old text. And text does not work all that well with the National Geographic. It doesn't actually bleed. But when you do the technique I'm going to show you, it works incredibly well. And this one is actually the stencil as well as the technique I'm going to show you. So let me show you how to do this. So um, this is actually some pages that I did last week that I don't like. They're just, eh, I don't know, you know, they're not really anything I'd probably use. But let me show you how I can make them pretty darn amazing. So, um, I think I'm going to start with, let's start with this stencil. Now, these are dried pages. They're, you know, they're completely, they, they're supposedly, you know, they're not, and nothing's going to happen to them, and they're kind of cured. I'm just going to spray, uh, spread this on it, and then you take a baby wipe. And while I'm doing this, I want to tell you that this uh, technique actually was came to me because of Kate Macken, I think McEnroe, Mac McEnroe, and she shared something that she learned from another teacher, which was Kristen Wilson. And I just had to try this. I thought it was so amazing. And so what I'm doing is literally pulling off that coat, first coat of ink. And when I pull it up, it's like, that's gorgeous. You know, from being kind of ho-hum to, wow, pretty cool. Let me just put some on here. So the point is, is the ink, even though that was completely dry, the ink still comes up really easily. So after... I do this, and this dries, um, I will coat this with, I love that, I would coat this with a layer of uh, matte medium or gel medium. My, in my case, I'll put matte medium on it because I don't like the shine. And it stabilizes it because I've already tried um, this morning. I actually put a layer of gel me uh, matte medium on top and then tried to do that same process again by putting this on top, and all of the ink was stable. So let's try another one with a different stencil. This is the one that I used um, for this one. And by the way, this one, this red streak, actually was, I actually poured red onto this as well, which is why it has that um, extra color onto it. But what this method does is it turns really kind of ho-hum pages into, wow, pretty good, pretty cool pages. And that ink just comes right off on the baby wipe. I mean, it's like a miracle. When I started doing this um, last week, after after Kate showed me um, a sample of this, I mean, I must have made three dozen pages like this. So let's see what we got. Yeah, see, that is something I would really, I think is just stunning. It's just amazing because it just takes off all of the uh, 
the ink underneath and you're just left with this gorgeous this gorgeous pattern and because I can't leave well enough alone because it's so much fun to do uh, let's just do one more I mean it's like a miracle A key part of this is once you pull this ink up, like I'm doing with the baby wipe, you've got to seal it once it dries. Otherwise, um, if you try to glue it back down, like tear it up and use it as collage material, um, it will uh, the ink will come right with it, and you'll it'll just be a runny mess. So I don't like that one as much, but if I just tear off a piece of that, I think it would be beautiful. Um, something I'm really crazy about is doing the um doing it just i wish i had one to show you but this one is probably my favorite ones although it's very plain but i love using text in my collages but i don't want the text to be readable and so this way you know i've actually wiped away the text so pretty much no word is readable it almost looks like it's a foreign language so i think that's beautiful and then this one is actually a combination of laying this in the National Geographic. So I got an impression of the stencil and then I just may placed it just like I did now and wiped away the ink. So I have a double impression there. I don't know. I just think this is kind of elevates um, the whole idea of using uh, citrus salt. Even though I'm using um, a stencil, you really can't tell. At least I can't tell. And this would be definitely something that I want to use um, in my in my work. But you know what? Because this stencil is just sitting here crying my name, calling my name, I've got to use it. By the way, when I put this on here, it is seeping right underneath. It's, a, it's seeping underneath the um, the stencil, so the whole piece is wet. I'm looking for my <laughs> looking for these things. Where are they? Um, but it doesn't matter because when I use the um, baby wipe, I'm only pulling away the ink from on you know from a, from the top, you know. So I'm not. It doesn't matter there's, that there's a lot of citrus salt underneath of the stencil. Let's see what we have. See this particular stencil is cool because I can line it up. And actually, I didn't even. <laughs> I think there's enough of that stuff on here. I probably don't even need, yeah, I do need citrus salt. Yeah, so you need to put more citrus salt down if it's, if it's a dry piece. So I could take the pieces that I, was, that I was making out of the magazine that I showed you a few seconds ago. I, could, I wouldn't have to put more citrus salt down on them because they already have a coating of it. It's wet. But because this is, this is uh, not wet, I had to add something. And I think that's beautiful and very usable as a collage piece. Anyways, that's it. So, hello. <laughs> Thank you for coming coming around, coming for day two. Hi, Nicola and Mans. I didn't see you come in. Judy, Judy, hello. Hi, my sister. And Patty. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. And I would love to see what you make with it. You know, I think it's all like an experiment. Like, what do you, you know, what combination, uh, like when you put the stencil on, you don't know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen with the citrus salve anyways. Hi, Tammy. It was amazing, isn't it? Like, I want to go make a whole bunch more, but I have to go back to work. So, my, uh, I have 20 fo 24 people waiting for me online. Joining you at the end. Thank you, man. Manza. Man I'm probably saying your name wrong. Mansi? Mansi or Mansa? So glad that you're here. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, Tammy. How do you spell it? Are you talking about Citrus Solve? Citrus Solve is C I T R A, Citra, and then Solve, S O L V. And I just did a Google search uh, to see if there was alternatives to Citrus Solve. And there are several, and I just bought them. So that might be next week's um, demo because I hate demoing something that isn't accessible to people around the world. And Citrusolve is, it's just a very expensive product because of the shipping. 
the product itself is not you know, not that expensive, but the shipping is quite. Um, anyways, thanks for coming along for the ride. And again, if you have ideas on things you would love me to look into and demo, please share. Um, I have several of you who are sending me um, links to different YouTube videos, which I'm just thrilled. I love going down rabbit holes and figuring things out. And again, thank you to Kat, Kate McEnroe, because she listened to, and she may be right here, uh, listened to last week's demo and gave me the idea for this. She gave me a beautiful piece. Anyways, thank you. And thank you, Judy. I love that you're here. I love that all of you are here. Mwah! I'll see you next week. Tune in Tuesday at 2. Bye, my friends.